Hey everyone, my name is Luis from uh, Durham University. Today I'm presenting our recent paper, Repisic on LiDAR semantic cementation. Um, this paper is a co collaboration with Professor Toby Bracken and uh, Professor Hubert Schoen, who is also here today. Our work focuses on LiDAR semantic cementation. It partition a point cloud into segments with each segment corresponding to different objects based on semantics. Previous methods often face challenges due to over-reliance on coordinates and point intensity, which limits robustness to transformations like rotations and translations. This weakens feature representation and results in poor segmentation in noisy and sparse LiDAR data. The right image here shows a point cloud of the same vehicles at different distances and uh, viewpoints. Despite being the same object, the visual point cloud features appear different, which presents challenges for downstream tasks. To tackle these challenges, we introduce a rapid, the range-aware point-wise distance distribution and the corresponding rapid-seq architectures. Rapid features are designed to be invariant to rapid, uh, rigid transformations and uh, adjust to point cloud density variations. Take this figure as an example of a bird eye view of LiDAR scenes. The blue solid line represents the LiDAR beams. We identify the five nearest neighborhood in blue, which is uh, uh, of the red anchor point. When the same vehicle moves to the location in the scene two, we have the red anchor point and the blue neighborhoods like this. In contrast, when a different object like this is at the same location, its point appears like this. We put them together and align them in a line we then do the normalization and compute the distance. You can see that the pointwise distance distribution in scene one and scene two is similar, but it differs significantly from scene three, right? Our method outperforms contemporary LiDAR cementations method in terms of MIOU on semanticity and uh, new things data sets. Our contributions are threefold. The first is uh, isometric invariant rapid features to capture the local geometry. The second is a class where nested autoencoder embedding method to optimize the embedding of high dimensional features. And the rapid architecture with supporting training method, it achieves certain performance on two mainstream tasks. The rapid features is the U times K matrix computing interpoint distance among every point. To enhance local context captures, we propose two specialized variants of rapid, naming the uh, uh, intra-ring rapid and intra-class rapid for C-rapid. Our rapid focus on the ring structure inherent in LiDAR data, reducing the computational demand while leveraging structure characteristics. C-rapid, on the other hand, concentrate on extracting features within each semantic classes, so thereby maintaining fidelities in class, uh, class embeddings. These variants together offers contemporary uh, benefits with R rapid being versatile and C rapid emphasized within, within class semantic uh, consistency. Given the high dimensional natures of our rapid features, we explore e embedding methods to reduce the computational costs because it's really high dimensional features. We thus provide, uh, propose a uh, a double nested autoencoder structure with a class aware embedding objective. Here, the outer module is 
uh, uh, composed by a VSA autoencoder, primarily responsible for the point to voxel conversion. Within the inner module, which focuses on the voxel-wise representation, we employ um, additional autoencoder, especially designed for dimensional reduction. It takes the voxel representation from outer autoencoder as an input and output a lower dimensional embeddings. Then the inner network proposed a voxel level information exchange to enhance spatial features interaction. It maps the reduced hidden features to a 3D sparse sensors and applies dual depth wise convolutions for better spatial interactivity. We then propose two novel and effective variants of RapidSeq for quicker and better in perform performance. Our RapidSeq involves autoencoder training from scratch, followed by the c rap on the uh, right-hand side. Our qualitative results show the distinctive in different semantic classes of rapid features as visualized by those four rectangles here. And you can see embedded rapid patterns corresponding to different points, which are visualized using a spectrum of colors. This showcases our capacity to represent different classes of rapid features. We here show the qualitative comparison with the PCSEC baseline and uh, ground truth. The results clearly shows our method performs better, especially in rigid object detections. We can see here the rigid object uh, class like uh, parking areas, sidewalks, roads, and cars are slightly better than the baseline method. The qualitative results show that our method beats all SOTA method on semantic KT dataset. And also this slides for new sense dataset. More results and visualizations are available on our paper and uh, videos. For future work, our rapid features has also shown significant effectiveness in downstream tasks. For example, our re recent BMVC paper uh, shows the uh, effectiveness of rapid on 3D detection, de detection task. Moreover, thanks to the rapid constant performance and generalization uh, capability, it can function like the pseudo labels, thus should have a promising performance in domain adaptation and out of distribution OOD settings. We'll be at the poster section immediately later at 151 if you are like to have a chat. Thank you everyone, and I'm more than happy to take some questions. Hi, uh, thank you so much for the nice presentation. I'm interested how your method works in adverse conditions, because just before we saw that it can influence the point quite, cloud quite a lot. Um, the the adverse com, uh, conditions, yeah. like uh, bad weather yeah. and... Yeah, like um, fog, uh, bad weather. Yeah. yeah, so normally speaking, that LiDAR has not a very good performance in adverse weather, for example, heavy fog and uh, rainy situations. But our method that uh, computes the point-wise distance, which has very robustness to noise, so they have very good performance on the adverse weather. But for the data set that it's, um, for, uh, for example, the kitty and new things, it doesn't com uh, contain much uh, adverse weather. So our future works may do some experiment on the adverse weather data sets, for example, the dense data set or other data sets like that. That's our future work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very nice, a potential collaboration emerged. Okay, so I also have a question regarding how you compute the rapid uh, feature. It seems like you have an anchor point, right? So how do yeah. you actually select the anchor point? Yeah, so we, uh, we, um, we loop all the anchor points in all the point cloud. So that means that for the all points in the point cloud, that we choose it as an anchor point and compute the nearest neighborhood 
among those anchor points. So for each anchor point, it will have the uh, uh, augmented point features. For example, X, Y, Z intensity, that's uh, most, uh, most usually feature points. And then we have our rapid features. Yeah. Okay, thanks. I have a small follow-up question to, to yeah. your feature. Um, you cleverly make use of the line structure of the point cloud. Yeah. So I was wondering, is that very much affected by occlusions? Um, so for the occlusions, it's a ch big challenge in LiDAR-based uh, method, and it's even worse than the 2D cameras. So it's, um, it's a challenge. But for, the, for our work, because the LiDAR, it has a very good, um, good opportunity to uh, collect the data from uh, different uh, viewpoints. So if it has uh, occlusions in this viewpoint, then maybe the car moves to another, uh, another viewpoint, then we can compute the, compute the features. So that's our strength, right? Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's thank, thank the speaker again.